This painting has an impact that makes you step back. It knocks you off the wall, it pushes you away. It's so forceful, and that's what he was trying to do. And in Holland at that time, there's nothing like that. There's nothing even remotely like that. Jan Lievens was an early 17th century Dutch artist who was born and grew up in Leiden, the university city of Holland, where very famous people came from all over Europe. He was a child prodigy by accounts that were made at the time. and was noticed immediately by connoisseurs of the day. Rembrandt was born within a year of him, so they're contemporaries. Rembrandt was a miller's son. He wasn't born to high rank. His parents had managed to apprentice him to Peter Lassmann in Amsterdam and then returned to Leiden. By coincidence, Levens also went to Lassmann in Amsterdam and then came back to Leiden. So they congealed at the same time in Leiden in 1625. They're both working together, either a few blocks from each other or in the very same studio. You think with a great genius like Rembrandt, he always made everything first and everyone followed. Not true. Rembrandt learned from Levens. They were so intertwined, these two artists, for those four or five years of explosive activity. It was like Picasso and Brock inventing cubism and in ways that we can't explain fully because the only evidence we have are the paintings themselves. There are many paintings that can be compared from one to another as a rivalry painting. For instance, Levens made a crucifixion and Rembrandt then also made a crucifixion in the same year. There's the capture of Samson by both artists, one right after the other. So there's almost no question that they, in a friendly way, competed with each other. This painting was made around 1626, right at the apex of the rivalry between Levens and Rembrandt. It's a young man embracing a woman. You can see his hand on one side, on her shoulder, and then two of their hands intertwined in the middle, and she with her hands straight out at you at incredible foreshortened perspective. All you see is fingertips, and yet it's very convincingly rendered. You can see brilliant brush marks on the right-hand side, enveloping all the way around the couple, and then it becomes very three-dimensional. There are very cogent arguments that the man represented in this painting is Rembrandt himself. And it makes a lot of sense. If two artists are sharing a studio and rivalry, then it would be easy to introduce Rembrandt's face into a painting and vice versa. It's always fun to try to figure out what is in an artist's head when he makes a painting like that. Is this just a lascivious object? Is it something just for people to gawk at? Is it there to shock them? I don't think he is trying to shock people. He's fitting within a long-standing tradition, going back to Italian art and classical paintings. He saw a large body of works by artists who had gone to Italy and brought back the style of the Italian artists. But no Dutch artist made a painting like this with these two figures interlocked almost with each other. This is in fact probably the most audacious painting by Levens of his entire early career. He was trying to say to everyone around him, look, I might be Dutch, but I'm really Italian at heart. I'm an Italian artist on Dutch soil. The painting came up in Amsterdam in 1998. I was then an art dealer. I wanted it desperately. It was neglected for a very long time and had overpainting on it. Someone put a kind of gauze over the woman's breasts because apparently they were offended by it. And I convinced the present owner to clean it 10 years ago for the Levens exhibition. This painting is important because of its extreme rarity. There's only one other early one I know with multiple figures on that could ever come on the market again. And this painting is the one as over life size. Citing these artists within uh, the scope of art history, I always said there are three famous Dutch artists, Rembrandt, Franz Hals, and Vermeer. I'd like to put forward the possibility that number four could be Levens. Mm -hmm.